Hello again, Craig here from ForbiddenKnowledge.info. Going to be talking about the Harvest Right freeze dryer. So this is mostly meant for owners of the freeze dryer and the engineers who design the thing so that maybe they can come up with a better design next time when they sell future freeze dryers. Um, I bought my machine in 2016. Uh, so this is, the, this is a newer model uh, as of 2016, however, as of a couple weeks ago, they released two more models, a larger model and a smaller model. So this would now be considered the mid-size model. Uh, I'm presuming the, the other ones are very, very similar, but maybe not. So what I've done here is I've created a situation because this hose, what I want to do is I want to eliminate the problem with this hose. The hose coming out, this is the vacuum line. It's a pretty heavy hose. It, it really doesn't bend very well. And it was coming out of here straight at a 90 degree angle out of the machine. And then basically you had to put a pretty gentle bend with, for your pump on this on a table next to you, next to your freeze dryer, if that's what you want to do. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to put mine on a cart. The hose that, that came with it though, was way too short to do that because after, by the time it came out of here at a 90 degree angle from the freeze dryer and made a, a slow bend down to the bottom of the cart, you need about a foot more hose. And I just, I could have done that, but it still wastes a lot of space here. You see, I have a rather, actually a rather low profile hose, so it could be put up in a corner or something. We don't have to worry about damaging that hose or your fitting. Uh, basically, it's not much wider than the cart itself that I have here. So what I've done here, of course, is I've just put a 90 degree elbow that I got from a hydraulic shop, basically. Uh, this standard pipe thread, and uh, I took off. This was on there originally. This part here was on there originally. I took that off and then installed this between the two parts. And I used the uh, Teflon tape for, for the joints. Uh, this is a vacuum line, and you probably ought to, ought to use the tape instead of the, of the goo. And only put uh, Teflon tape here and here. You don't want to put it here. That's got a rubber gasket in it. You don't need to put Teflon tape on that fitting. So that's what I've done. And actually the cover, what I've had to do, uh, I've had to modify it a little bit because of the size of that fitting. Uh, size, side cover on here. You'll see I had to cut it in order to fit in there properly. It was actually a, a round hole, as you can see by the piece here that I cut out with a Dremel tool. So I had to make it actually into a, a, a square peg into a round hole, so to speak. So I had to modify it to cut it open a little bit and sand it down, and get it to where it will fit. So now it fits nicely. And for those of you who haven't known about this yet, these pump kits, uh, filter kits for the pumps. Uh, the vacuum pump, in my case, when I first started using it, I was doing things that nobody else had ever done in the world. I, I, was, I was actually freeze drying paw paw. And it would actually take about a 60 hour cycle. And I was changing the oil after just two cycles of the freeze dryer. Uh, so now I've installed this pump system. It's not all fully installed yet, but I'm, that's what I'm working on right now. Uh, and what I've done here is the hose coming out of here, I put a 45 degree bend so that to create less stress on this hose again, it's pretty a really gentle bend, it's out of the way. Uh, if, it, if I didn't put that 45 degree bend on there, I would have had to put the, the pump a lot closer to the edge of the cart and to make the hose to where I can make that bend. They just really made it impossible to put the pump below on a cart, which is what a lot of people like to do. So now that's alleviated those problems. This is part of the pump kit. You don't mean you know may not recognize some of these other valves. That's part of the, the kit for the oil filter. And on the other side, I've actually installed, I've just basically I, I've kept the standard drain for now. It's a really troublesome drain, isn't it? Anybody who has a machine knows that. And I've uh, I got my room for my bucket on my cart. Uh, this is still a temporary setup. I'm still not finished with it, but I just want to let people know who have the freeze dryer who might want to make some kind of modification to it. Uh, what I did, maybe or maybe not, you want to do that modification. Now, I would presume that Harvest Right will have a fit with this, and they'll say I voided my warranty, but so be it. Um, I now have a, a lower profile hose that doesn't stick up. I can still push it now into a corner or something and not have to worry about that hose getting damaged, being shoved up into a corner or something, and I can still wheel it in and out of a kitchen or a garage or what have you because I've now made it uh, much more portable than having it on a table uh, that I would have to probably disconnect the hose each time I was going to move it from the pump because you really can't move both units on a table unless you have two people to carry a table with you in order to get that to to move properly you basically we have to take the system apart and being that I've added all these other hoses onto my pump that makes it kind of critical now I'll be able to be very portable with it and still shove it and store it in a tighter space without this hose sticking out almost a foot from the freeze dryer so that's about it. Thanks everybody for watching. More videos to follow about uh, freeze dryer tips from Harvest Right. Thanks for watching.